Mr. Gallup. Here. Mr. Polish. Here. Mr. Split. Here. Mr. Rodiga. Here. Okay, we do have a quorum. Uh, I'd entertain a motion from somebody to approve the agenda. I'd like a motion to approve the agenda. Okay. Second. Motion by Mr. Gallup, second by Ms. Hutton to approve tonight's agenda. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Approval of last month's minutes. I'll make a motion. Okay. Approve. It's a motion to approve last month's minutes. Second. Motion by Mr. Gallup, second by Mr. Paul Ash to approve last month's min minutes. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs> Motion carried. Acceptance of the financial report. I don't believe there was any change. I guess I didn't look at it, so I shouldn't say. It appears there's no change. Yeah, there was no, no, no change. No, no. Move to approve. Second. Sorry. Motion by <laughs> motion by Mr. Polash, second by Ms. Hutton to approve the financial report. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? <clears throat> That morning, Gary. Public comments. Think there'll be any? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the floor is open for public comments. Um, we'd like to limit it to five minutes for each person. Is this public comments on any forthcoming items? Any forthcoming okay. items, yes. Um, well, I, I'm Raphael Salas, for those of you who I don't know or who can't see me. Can you spell um, your last name, please? Salas, S-A-L-A-S. Thank you. Um, and, yeah, I, I did, and I think probably many of the people here are kind of here for one issue, which is about the Black Lives Mural matter that, um, mural that uh, Sam and I painted on his business wall. Um, I guess at some level, this sort of is all my fault, um, because uh, I painted the other mural in 2014 that you would probably see on the wall of Farrell's building. And when I did that, um, I did not recall going through the city. Um, and I've since been, in the few people that I've spoken with, been told that that probably did happen, um, though I actually have no idea. Uh, because I proposed the mural, I was working with Craig Tebon at the time, and he and I went back and forth on proposals and on the ultimate uh, mural that you see today. Um, so when Sam, when Sam approached me about kind of designing and painting this mural, um, we talked back and forth about the stipulations that we understood, and from what I understood at the time, uh, Troy Farrell was the owner, he gave us permission, and we went forward. Um, but I've since learned that the city might have been involved via Craig Tiamon, but again, I did not have any interaction. So, um, so should, in seeing the, I did see the ordinance that um, the letter sent out, and indeed, um, the mural is in violation of that ordinance, so we certainly apologize for any mistake there that was not um, on purpose. Uh, but in looking at the items on that um, ordinance, had we done it in a way that was acceptable, which I believe would have been to paint the same mural on panels that we then attached to the wall, so they weren't actually affixed to the, they weren't actually painted directly on the wall, it would have been the same image, um, and it would have been the same message. Uh, so. I guess I feel, I don't know, um, but my gut sort of tells me we may have been having this discussion either here or at a city council meeting anyway, because I feel like it's perhaps, the issue is perhaps not been about um, how we painted this mural, but about what's on it. Um, again, that's just sort of what, what my gut is telling me. Um, so that being said, um, I guess I apologize that we did our process incorrectly, but I guess I'm happy to discuss what the issue is with the mural overall, because I'm not quite sure. Um, our goal, of course, was to, if you read it, um, invite black and brown people to feel accepted and feel like they're invited into this town and that uh, we support um, 
and, pro and protest. We support them and protest, um, you know, racial violence in America. That's what this is for. Um, and so the goal was, in fact, to uh, hopefully give access and acceptance to those people in our community. Um, so if we did it incorrectly, I hope that our message can still um, stand as an important message for Ripon overall. Um, and yeah, I guess I'm not quite sure uh, what to say outside of that, except that I'm sorry if we did it incorrectly. Um, and I hope that you will allow us that uh, certificate of, what's it called, appropriateness. Yes, um, I want to be nothing if not appropriate. That's, that's all I got. Thank you very much. Uh, my name's Sam, uh, and we're the culprits of this. <laughs> um, I just want to speak briefly because what we're dealing with here is the um, historical appropriateness of it uh, being up and in downtown. Um, and for me, moving here um, has everything to do with the history of here. You know, um, I wanted to be, I wanted to start a music and art project. I wanted to be able to do that and to show if you create something like that in a downtown area, the positive influence that it can have on other businesses. Um, and I almost did the project in Nina until came here and saw the downtown, um, and it gave me goosebumps the first time I saw it. You know, I fell in love with it. I saw that specific building, 114, and pulled over uh, in front of the apartment that I now live in and walked down. And, um, you know, I, I fell in love with the, the mural that was out there. Um, and when I got to learn more about Ripon and its history and what it has done to be able to affect uh, social justice and its, its specifics dealing with racial injustice, um, the Republican Party being formed uh, specifically to, you know, abolish slavery. And when everything was going on um, and th th these riots started, these different things that were going around, I didn't know what to say or what to do for a week, right? I just started having conversations with as many different people as I could. Talked with some members of the ACLU, some different board members there, had them come through um, talking with different business owners here, and I knew that we needed to do something here. You know, I, I, I fell in love with Ribbon because of what it did in the past to be able to move us forward, um, and what this little town had an impact on the rest of our country. And we have that opportunity now, you know? Here we are, we're still dealing with these same issues that they tried to abolish before, we're still dealing with them. And I battled with what those words were gonna be. We battled with what those words were gonna be. And as I went through my talks through that week, when I talked to the board member from the ACLU who is black as well, he was walking and I asked him what he would feel if he saw a mural that said Black Lives Matter. And he said that he would feel safe. And that, that, impressed, that made the decision for me because when I first heard Black Lives Matter, I thought all lives matter and that's what we need to focus on and they're missing the whole point. I was, I said the same thing. I felt the same way. The more I learned and the more I paid attention, I realized that that message and what I'm saying, what we said in that, had nothing to do with the protests, had nothing to do with any of the anger. It came from a place of love. I wanted to make sure that it came from a place of love because that's why I fell in love with this area, is because of the love from the community and everyone in it. And I wanted to be able to do my part to be able to make sure that when people come through this town, when people come in and they're shopping and we're going about our lives, that we don't forget, one, what built this town, and also what's right and wrong. And if people are walking around our community not feeling safe in some way, then we need to make sure that we do everything we can to be able to make them feel safe. So in the efforts of trying to preserve history in Ripon, that is why I put the mural up. I put that up because 
I want to preserve the history of what, what happened here and what people worked so hard and bled for to be able to make sure that we move forward. And I want to make sure that I do my part to be able to try and do that now. And so I apologize for not uh, going through the proper um, channels um, that I was unaware of, but I am perfectly willing and happy to be able to go through all of those channels. Um, but I, I strongly believe that it's something that shouldn't have to be covered up or taken down because of a piece of paper. Because I think what we're talking about here deals with a lot more, and I understand that it does have to go through and do that, and that's why I'm here. But I, I, I feel very strongly about, um, about why it's up and why we did it. And what's one of the things that's been really great to see is people, families, pull over their car and get their mixed kids out of the car and walk up and explain to them that somebody cares. Like, that, that's beautiful. It's beautiful to see that. It's beautiful to see people walking down and feeling like it's about starting a conversation. We didn't get here overnight and we're not gonna change it overnight but we need to start talking about it and addressing those issues. And I think there's people that are coming from outside of the area and they're so like, I'm seeing them put up that, wow, Ripon, this small town is paying attention. We have an opportunity here to really do something and to make just as strong of a stand as the city was founded on. And that's what I'm trying to do. So thank you for the time. Eloquent. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm Jerry Davidson. I just, I probably have an incomplete or misunderstanding, but it seems that the mural on the site of fail, of Farrell's was not objected to by the Preservation Committee. Now, it seems to me the Preservation Committee has given an exception to Ripon College to do whatever they want to their buildings, frontage. And so I'm wondering why the Preservation uh, Committee is focusing on this one particular image. And uh, my understanding of the history of Ripon is probably not complete, and I wish Todd Behrens was here to correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't Ripon part of the Underground Railroad? And now we're turning our backs on that heritage? Thank you. I think a number of us here would probably benefit by hearing more how the system is supposed to work rather than making a comment first and then finding out later <laughs> the way it works, yeah. hearing how it works, and then potentially being able to make comments afterwards. Good point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, this part right now is just public comment, and anybody could comment on anything relating to the city. But right now, obviously, it's the, the sign or the, the side wall that's painted. Um, <clears throat> so we take all your public comments, we listen to them, we don't necessarily even respond to them. We just take it in because it's not really an a, agenda item. So after public comment is done, then we'll go to the Certificate of Appropriateness application, which is the next item on our agenda. And then we can bring up the building at 212 and 214 Watson Street. So right now, we can just still have public comment, or we can end that and then bring up the application. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, Ann Paulus, and uh, I ran a sign shop downtown for 20 years, so I worked very closely with a lot of the business owners and trying to keep their designs appropriate for these old buildings. Mm -hmm. And I was also on the first Historic Preservation Committee, you probably were too, mm -hmm. with uh, Steve Sorensen and George Miller and to get this, to get this rating for our downtown. And just from, from that background and from the professional art, artistic uh, observation, I, I think we can note that the, the mural was done very carefully 
it was done very professionally. Uh, it's not like they plastered it across the front on the white stone, which none of us would approve of. You know, I think they chose a very, a very respectful site mm -hmm. on that building for that statement. So I just wanted to point those out. And, and the other thing I think, is, as uh, the guys pointed out, artwork can often be really controversial. And so uh, I think we accept that. And then it can also be a, a, a nudge to, for people to, to grow and, and reach a little bit higher. So I, I'd like everybody to keep that in mind, too. Any more? Okay, so just one small comment. It, it's, it, we picked that building specifically because it is 112. Was it 114 is you know built in 1930 um, and definitely like she said wasn't going to go through and put it on the front of the building. It's on 112, which is a new build, um, but it is in the historic downtown um, section, so I understand that. But just as far as the appropriateness of the placement and the mural as well, um, we picked it on that specifically because it wasn't going to tarnish something that was built in 1930. Okay. So. Thank you. Any other public comment? Yes, sir. So my name is Byron Barto, and uh, I've lived in this community part-time for the last seven years, and we recently moved here full-time. I just want to say this. My life's work has been about racial justice, so I'm quite glad to see uh, a sign that uh, in Rivet that takes that up. Thank you. more. I'm Tim Lake. I uh, don't live in Ribbon, but I had businesses that paid a lot of property taxes here. <laughs> I, I think uh, Sam's uh, talk was very eloquent, and I don't agree, disagree with a word of it. But I think we really are misguided, and, and you probably know this, if, if we discuss contents at all, that should have nothing to do with contents of that sign. That's irrelevant. Social justice doesn't matter. The message doesn't matter. It's the medium. So please, I hope you don't discuss the contents at all. It's not Black Lives Matter. It's the medium. It's what, what does the law require? And what do we need to do then? Those who want to sign up, which I think is everybody here, to do it legally. But I know that if we discuss content, that can backfire on all of us. Another day with another message. Thank you. Mr. Solomon. Can I just respond briefly to that? Um, so when I was speaking, I think I talked about that directly, that if if I had, if Sam and I had painted that sign correctly um, on panels that we attached to the wall, um, I still think we'd be at the same meet. So I, I think the, the medium is, in fact, totally irrelevant, um, because I don't think that's the issue. I think we would have far more easily gotten a pass, or I'm sorry, not, uh, we would have not gotten a pass in exactly the same way with a different meeting. I think that's I think that's completely incorrect. Yes. Um, my name is Mandy Kimes and yeah, just um, one thing that my mind is thinking a lot about is um, the people who've shared with me that other businesses are just saying things like, well, what if I put anything I want on a sign? And knowing that that is something that helps spark, I think, why we're here today. So I'm just curious like how this came up or um, how it was brought to your attention. Um, but I'm also aware of the fact that um, one of the ministers in our town who had a sign that said the very same message um, had people arrive in the middle of the night at his house, um, waking up his entire family, and ripped the signs out of his yard, um, and that their kids felt terrorized by that. And so I'm pretty sure, um, from what people have said online, I don't know if you guys read comments going on, but it's an ugly place to find out how our town is dealing with this. Um, that people would rip those panels down. I really do believe that. And so th I think that's something, I mean, obviously there's the protocol of which they've said they wish they had followed, but there's also the reality that um, a mural painted on a wall can't be torn down. And I'm grateful for that. Can you say your name again? K-I-M-E-S, and it's Mandy with a Y. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Judy Neal, and back in the day, I chaired the Ribbon Appearance Committee when we had one. 
Resource and Beautification Committee before Main Street was able to take that over. And one of the things that happened at the time was we did review this code as it was being developed. So I don't remember all the details. But what I do remember as we talked about it is that there was a history in Ripon of having signs painted on buildings. And there was a point at which Main Street was looking to see if we could find artists to paint murals on buildings. And I also remember not that long ago when the building that used to be the Pickle Quigley, the college students painted murals on there um, you know, frequently, like every couple of years. So it seems that there's a precedent for having murals painted on buildings. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to bring that perspective. OK, thank you. <coughs> yes. Hi, my name is Steve Reamer. I used to be on the Historic Preservation Commission. And I was on the Preservation Commission when that other um, mural was done. I don't have a problem with murals, but they should go through the city ordinances and they should follow everything else that is entailed for this, for the appropriateness um, certificate. And the reason I'm saying that is because you're opening a can of worms that says everything is open game. I know the Piggly Wiggly thing that you were talking about. They came in front of the board and they talked about that before they did it. So they had uh, permission to do that. And also for the mural that you had on the side of Harold's, that was also discussed and there was a certificate of appropriateness for that also. So I don't have a problem with murals on buildings. But what I'm saying is go through the system so that um, we don't open this can of worms and uh, all of a sudden we'll get all sorts of uh, nasties on the walls that people don't want, okay? I understood and, and the, the fault that came from mine, from, from me is the fact that when I read what the exemptions were, the exemption was anything that's art that doesn't have, it, it's not a signage. And so for me, had I read more, my fault, had I read more, saw that having it painted directly on the building is the issue that we have at hand here. So. Yeah. And also the size. If you read the ordinances, the size of the build, or message board is really, it, it's big well, compared to what their ordinances should be. Are. I mean, but then just the same way that just so his, his, his mural is a lot larger than. than yeah, but he thing. was approved. <laughs> okay. Understood. Okay. That's our plan. I do, I, sorry, I'm speaking once again. Um, it's going to be quick. Um, I just, I, maybe this isn't the right place to talk about it, but it's a hypothetical, right? What, what happens if this mural um, gets painted over? Like, what happens when somebody comes in to paint it? It's not going to be me. Um, and how does that look to the city, to our community, to the photographs that get taken of that uh, erasure? Um, that wasn't my point in sort of like coming to this meeting, but it is an aspect that I would consider. Um, what, what does it mean to sort of erase that message? That's all I got. Thank you. Any other public comment? Okay. Well, thank you. I appreciate everybody coming here and saying what they wanted to say about the um, Black Lives Matter sign on the wall. So thank you again. Um, I'd just like to go to number seven, which is Certificate of Appropriate Applications. 112 to 114 Watson Street, which is the building that the sign or artwork is painted on. Um, I know it's a very sensitive issue that we're dealing with. The country is in is split down the middle on a lot of things. But we're not here tonight really to determine if it's a sign or if it's art or anything. We're here because it's an exterior alteration to a building. And Ripon has a code 
and I can state the code. It's a city code 2043.170. I mean, it's a lot of numbers. But it states um, exterior alterations, um, and in that code, it asks if it does meet the design criteria. And Ripon has a design criteria booklet right here with design guidelines made by Ripon Historic Preservation and Ripon Main Street and a number of things. So that's part of it, of the whole story that we're, you know, we're here tonight to discuss it. Also in that code, it says, does it conform or affect the district, conform to the district, or does it affect the district? And does it belong in a historic district? Um, those are questions that we as a commission have to look at. We got to this point, I think Mandy Kimes asked the question how we got here. We got to this point because of a certified letter sent out to Sam Luna because of a code violation in the city. So that's why it was put on the agenda tonight for discussion. And I guess the other, that no matter what our discussion comes to tonight, whether we give a approval or a denial or nothing, no matter what happens, it still goes to, if we give, if we give an approval or we give a denial to an, any application in the city for our historic preservation, it always, the next step always goes to city council. So. Um, so do we, do we have an application? We have, oh, you do have an application. Okay. We do have an application. Okay. okay. <laughs> so we'll just take a minute to, yeah. to look at it. I didn't know, I thought you might have an application. So. Yeah. I've never seen it. Do you have a, do you have a side of the, a, a drawing of the side of the bill? I have I never. Know. I was actually in Harlem today, and okay. someone commented on it. Oh, yeah? Okay. So, not in a positive way. Mm -hmm. Why? Well, never mind. Sorry. Not surprised. That's what I get for not looking around when I'm walking around. It's on the street. Does the ordinance that you had referenced? No. I know there's also size stipulations based on the square footage of the building, and I'm curious as to what that is yes. as well. Yes, and that is it's in the design guidelines and the ordinance, okay. and it is, if I could find it, it's a certain square footage sure. of the... I just don't know what it is yeah. offhand. Um, Okay, total sign area. The total sign area for a building in the B1 district shall not exceed an area in square feet three times the lineal footage of the building the sign is attached to or directs attention to. So, three times. Such display area on the side facing, okay, that's secondary. In no case, shall the wall area usable for sign display be in excess of 200 square feet on any one side. I have to admit, I did not measure. Do you know your dimensions? Yeah, it's uh, 12 by 6. I don't know how that compares. 720. Yeah. I mean, well, you think so of the main building, the treasury in the front? No, the whole square no, footage on, of the building? On the wall area. Just that wall. No. Yes. Just that wall wraps around, yeah. yeah. So, um... I think that's just run and grab a quick measurement. Do you want me to run? 12 by 6 is 72, not 720. Yeah. 720. 72. 12, yeah. 12 feet by 6 feet would be 72 square feet. Correct? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. In our, I'll just add this, in our design guidelines, there's a blank 
sidewall of buildings category, and then it says graphics. Um, in, in section number two, sub, or excuse me, I'll just start with number one. Submit a colored and correctly scaled drawing of the graphic and sidewall for review and approval of the design committee. So that step obviously has not been taken. Um, but we do have the, we, we can picture the sign, we know the square footage of the sign. Um, Susan Leahy, our building, our code enforcer, uh, I'm just trying to see where she said, what she said the, um, she commented on the signed area was too large and prohibited signs, signs painted on, attached to, or supported by a tree, stone, cliff, or other natural object. So the key words are signs painted on or prohibited onto a building. And there's also the one that, uh, let me get to the letter. Hey. That's, yes, go ahead. That, that does um, art, it's, um, what is it? Exemptions uh, 18, Dot two eight dot o, uh, eight zero. Article E of that is works of art that do not include any commercial message are exempt. Which that is, you okay. know. And I said that, I know you know said that we're not right. here to we're decide. Not, we're that, not here to decide. Correct. If it's a sign or if it's art or what. Um, we're here because it's an exterior but, alteration. And it, it, it goes into the, the fact, though, of what, when permitting is needed. And I, I guess that's where I went off of it. I saw that that was exempt in the fact that any art that's up there. When I talked to Susan Leahy, she said that if I had put panels on, then there would be no code violation. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. Well, we do have, did you see the application, Eric? Okay. We do have an application for an art mural focusing on the historical background of ribbon. Um, and I guess at this point, it's up to us as a commission if we need to see a drawing, a size of it, you know, what, what we're going to decide on for you because it's already after the fact that it's on the wall. Mm -hmm. Looking um, I understand that the whole issue is very <clears throat> passionate on all sides. I'm not going to take a side here publicly. Um, I, it, our job on this commission is not to say whether the message you're conveying is right or wrong. I honestly think that our job here is exactly like how Tim described what we're doing here. We're talking about signage in downtown Ripon and does it conform with the ordinances or not? Mm -hmm. um, without knowing um, size versus what's allowed on that side of that building, I do not really personally think we can go forward until some of those questions are answered. Okay. So, uh, you know, there, we have an application, but on that application, it states what you need with the application. And some of it, you, may, you don't need a site plan, but, or necessarily a building elevation, but, um, you know, we, we usually have something that, uh, that addresses these or comes with these as far as pictures, uh, material samples, that kind of thing. And uh, again, we don't have that. We don't have dimensions. We don't have really anything. Are the dimensions of it and pictures? Of the, of the mural, we have digital images of that as well. I wasn't aware that I needed to uh, mm -hmm. measure the entirety of the wall. That's the only measurement that we don't have. So that's in the ordinance, mm -hmm. the city ordinance. It's all in line, so. Mm -hmm. Blank wall in Ripon, and um, the you know how appropriate it is to put it downtown, and 
and my feelings like Eric, I, no big deal. I'm not, I don't want to dwell on that, but we, we've had a lot of people that just make things and then ask for forgiveness rather than coming in and, um, you know, going through the process that we provide or we expect. Um, so really it's, it's just not about, it's respect, Sam. <laughs> Damn it. Um, yeah, I'm just saying it's about, you know, we're here for a reason. We give up our personal time to try to make the town better. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what we would, you know, the drawing and those kinds of things would be great to have. Um, but as far as us voting on it and what we would consider, I, we would have to talk about it because mm -hmm. we haven't. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you got to look at it not from the content. Like, I mean, it's, it has nothing to do I, I, with I your totally, son. Yeah, we're not, we're not, we're not taking sides here on that. No, yeah. But everything you did, and I'm not even talking about the sign, but everything was done wrong. Mm -hmm. So it should be on panels, it should be smaller, and not even getting into content, if it said anything, everything about it for the legalities down there is wrong. Mm -hmm. So it could say drink milk, it could say anything on there, and it's, it's going, it, it wasn't right. Mm -hmm to do it that way. So if looking at it from that standpoint, I mean, what's to keep somebody else not. from doing that we're now? Right. Somebody right. else can just paint whatever. I, I, I completely understand that. And for that, I apologize that we're, I even put us in a situation where we have to go through and talk about it. Clearly, the thing is, is I didn't go through the proper path to be able to get it done. Here we are. I apologize. I would be much more thoughtful on it moving forward, but I guess where we're at now is the only thing we can do is move forward where you can approve or deny. Either way, it has to go to city council. So can we move to that step so that way then we can get get through there and maybe maybe get to that so that way it doesn't have to be a decision that's made. I messed up, but like also how do we how do we move forward from that? You know. Our process is to have drawings. Mm -hmm and to view what you want to do. Then we vote. Then it goes to city council. So no, we can't do it. And right now we can't vote. Because we wanted the drawings and... We, can, we could, we can do a vote because we do have an application, but it's an incomplete application. We don't have we don't have the square footage of the walls. I'll just say it's incomplete. So we could do a vote to approve or, or not approve. And then Sam, if it's approved, it's fine. If it's not approved, then Sam, the owner of the building, has every right to appeal our decision to Rippon's Common Council. And personally, I think that's the best route to take because we do have an application. He, he took the time to fill it out. It's incomplete, but I think we should do the proper channels and do a vote tonight. Oh, yes. Um, my first question is, I, I was hearing, I wasn't quite sure where the discernment is, but I was hearing that there maybe is a different standard applied to works of art versus signage, which would be commercial signage. So if that's the case, then it's really important when this was done as a work of art. So I think that's an important consideration. And then the second thing is, when you say drawings, etc., that's because the piece doesn't exist when you're trying to approve it. There's sense yeah. we, we had this accident here. Mm -hmm. You don't, I didn't think you'd need a drawing. You, that piece, you can look at it. Right. Yeah, Correct. Picture, right? We would need the, the measurements and probably a, a, a picture. Um, and that would be a recommendation for Sam if the next step does go to city council that they have that already for your appeal. Absolutely. Um, and there's also at city council, there's proper legal advice. We are not 
and <laughs> you need her, you know, legal advice here. So mm -hmm. um, that I guess would be my recommendation. Yes, ma'am. Um, would it be appropriate for me to go measure it right now and sprint that? We have the measurement of the piece. We just that. don't have the measurement of the, the, the rest of the wall. Correct. I, I, I have the tape. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I would say no, because those measurements should go to the code enforcer. She does the, the, the math on it and then makes her determination. And are those measurements that need to be known because of it being looked at as signage or works of art? Because that is what I'm still confused about. Do you and guys see this as a work of art? That's, like I said before, I'm not here to debate the yes. art or, yes. the, or the signage. Yes. We're I think here the most important thing to remember is the reason it's here is because of the city ordinance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's what we have to keep gravitating yeah. yeah. towards, is the, just the legality of that yes. part of it yeah. and mm -hmm. how the function goes from here. Yeah. So. So I guess um, I would suggest we get a motion on the floor to to either accept or deny 112 to 114 Watson Street um, sign application. I'll make a motion. I don't want to complicate it. <clears throat> it's not to approve it. It would be more to table it if we could get the proper information. If that leads to a denial or a temporary denial, then he can either take it to city council or it can come back at our next meeting once we have the proper information. Okay. Um, that's your motion? Or Correct. So it's, so it's, I don't, like I said, I don't want to complicate it, but without having the information, like I said, I, I, we, we really can't go forward with it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there a second to that motion? I second it. Second. Discussion on that. Good. I, I think I agree that we should table it because I don't think the vote tonight, um, it seems like we could be pushing it off on to the city council instead of us dealing with it. And I think if we had the proper But no matter what we do, it's right. still... So right, it still can go there, but... still go to the city council, right. and it's still ultimately their decision anyway, so... Right, right, but... I think the overall feeling is that we don't want to be backed into a corner to make a decision based on not having the exact information that we need, because it also sets a precedence for somebody else to walk in later after a mistake, and I, yeah, I, I want to make that really clear. I think that's what we're trying to do, is we're mm -hmm. staying by the rules, so should anybody else putting an application we've, in. We've right. had similar situations like this right. a couple of years ago with people putting up whatever they wanted to downtown and we treated them no differently. Right. And I yeah. think same, that's the important. Same, same exact right. thing. So. Right. Do you, or the, com the committee here, think that we should not table, make our decision based on the facts we have? Because then it can be, it could be, brought to city council quicker or faster sure. if, yep. if, if we do a yes or a no tonight instead mm -hmm. of tabling for another month or having a special meeting. That would be fine too. Then all we're for, the, the most information we have then is probably a letter from the building inspector that says it's not the right size, mm -hmm. that right. it's not properly applied. Correct. Would you like to change your motion to something different instead of tabling it? So you're saying rather than us work on it again next week to do it tonight so they can get it? That's my thoughts. If we table it, then it's just in limbo. It doesn't go to right. the city council for X number of weeks yet. Mm. If we if we do a thumbs up or thumbs down tonight, mm -hmm. it's finished at our end. It goes to city council. Possibly we could get, <clears throat> we have the agenda already for city council, but maybe we could get an amended agenda for our next meeting on Tuesday the 14th, I believe. Why don't we have a special meeting? No, city council. I'm sorry. Yeah, city council yeah. could possibly get it on yeah. that agenda. It's got to get there anyway. Yeah. And with this, everything's wrong about it. 
I mean, and I'm not even talking about the content. Mm -hmm. Everything is wrong. So, I mean, we should be setting an example and voting it down. Because we're voting on this tonight. Did they do it right? Is this right? And it's not right. At the city council, we can discuss it as far as it being art. That gives plenty of time. Then, then we're going to start talking about the politics of it, what business owners downtown want to see with it. I mean, you're, one thing you got to look at, you're putting business owners downtown out there, too. It's like putting a political sign in front of your business. People are not going to go there. I, I know you're, I know you're saying that, and, and, I, and I agree with you, but there's a lot of people that don't. And I think and, that's a and conversation gonna, we all need to have. Right. It's and that's a conversation we can't time. have here, but we can have it at the yeah. city council. I'm happy to do that. Okay. But for now, all you're doing, everything's wrong, we should vote it down. And then let's take it to city council and then discuss it the way it needs to really be discussed. I'll, I'll withdraw my motion now. Okay. I'll make a motion, we turn it down. Okay. There's a motion. Turn it down. Is there a second? I'll second it. Second by Terry. Any discussion? Can I just be the door in the room? What we're saying is we're going to vote it down so that it can go to city council and then when we they'll go through what we went through. Or is Sam going to provide additional information? Yeah. I'll get all the information. So Sam will get all the information if it's voted down. He can appeal our decision, taking it to city council. Well, who, I mean, I'm thinking in myself, who would they get a better chance at getting it cleared with us or Ron? Well, it has to be cleared with both. Yeah, but we'll guide it if we vote for Pardon? We would be guiding it. We would give them our, our well, thumbs up if it went, came through us first. Possibly, but right now we're basing our thoughts on incomplete application and a letter from the I'm city. I'm saying if we go through with this, then they're going to make the decision. They're going to make correct. the decision. Either, either, way. Way. either way, they're either way. going to make the decision. <laughs> we're basing this on the next people that come in here that have done something mm -hmm. that they shouldn't have. Correct. No. Not at all the sign. It has nothing to do with the content of the sign or anything else. Well, I mean, I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about this, but we've had other people who did not comply. Yeah, let's talk about that. And there probably was stuff we, in the past. We, we, dealt, we dealt with them the same way. Right. Mm -hmm. oh, no. I, I already said that. We, we did. Sure. We had signs sure. up sure. downtown. The dude that moved in next to the woman that's Asian and, and the sewing, he put a sign up, we can approve that sign. Correct, but Susan Leahy fined him. Yes. Yeah. Well, he was I just fine. never told you that yeah. 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 And it's certainly not in the meeting. No, it was, we you talked about it. Your secret and then, yes. agent talk. Yeah. And then it, we turned yeah. it over to Susan Leahy, so she did take care of that. Okay, there is a motion and a second to deny the certificate of appropriateness for 112 and 114 Watson Street. This is to deny the application. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. aye. I guess I have to speak. <laughs> <laughs> motion carries to deny the application. And you do, Sam, you can yeah. go to see Laurie yeah. and appeal. Yeah. And I'll call, let's see, I'll call tomorrow morning, tell them our decision, and I'll give them a heads up. Maybe they maybe they can get it on next week's agenda. That'd be great. We, we hope they can. Yeah, yeah. that'd be great. And again, uh, sorry for not going through the proper channels and going through so that way we wouldn't have to be in this situation at all. I didn't do this to try and be a fire starter or anything like that. Um, I'm learning as I go, um, uh, but um, would really appreciate it if it could move to city council as soon as possible. So that way then 
it can get done and resolved, and then everyone yep. can just keep moving. Yeah. And I think that's why we did what we did. Yeah. No, I yeah. appreciate that. Yeah. 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 You're assigned to stay on the Okay. All right. Now we can debate ours. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right. Thank you. I know public comment was over, but could I just add something from what I've heard? Mm -hmm. I think as a commission, you've got a very difficult job because the ordinance has exemptions for artwork versus signage, but you were saying you can't make that determination. So how can you make a decision on an application if you're not allowed to say it's art or it's signage. Yeah. You're kind of stuck. Right. And uh -huh. yeah. you know, I appreciate you saying it should go to the council, but you know, it's just I don't see how you can make a decision without saying yeah. this is art, council. this is signage. And that's where the so. legal counsel comes in yeah. at the right. city, at the city level so, as well. So I'm glad I'm not you. It's usually, <laughs> it's usually not this hard. Yeah, I see. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, well, thank you all. Thank you, guys. Yep, thank, you. Yeah. thank you. That'll be a fun castle. <laughs> down to 211 Watson Street, Certificate of Appropriateness. That is going to be... Can you, guys, yes. can you see it at all? I mean, it's, the, the pictures I gave her were color, because I got them from Adam. I can't yeah. even see what she did. I can see it. But you got the color one. <laughs> I, can see it I like the historic lettering. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be in it's the color. It, it's 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 a uh, gray slate blue and kind of uh, red gold outlining it. You got so a cool building there too. It cool is. Building. And with the awning that John put on there, Thank you. having <laughs> having having that sign hanging out oh, sure. just doesn't it wouldn't, it wouldn't work the same because mm -hmm. yeah. we right. definitely like using oh. that awning. Yeah. Yeah. And then the and only thing that he does changes it from how other buildings are oh, present yeah. themselves. The only other thing that he didn't have on there was that what we'd like to do underneath one of one of those is have it say loose leaf tea and the other one say handcrafted kombucha. And those are that would be two and a half inch letter. Right above that, the white diamond. Right above, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Make a motion, we approve. Second. Yeah. Okay, there's a motion to approve by Mr. Gallup, second by Mr. Polish. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. That looks really nice. Yeah, yeah. 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 we have what we need. <laughs> what did we do that on the last one? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going to because he's been watching with those up. <laughs> is a metal sign. It's going to be a projecting sign. Yeah, Yes, yeah, wood. Yes, yeah, wood. I thought yeah. wrought iron. Oh, I, wrought iron. I saw gold. metal work. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yes. I like that. Thank you for Hi. saying that. That is an awesome sign. It's a giant wooden nickel. <laughs> if you want to know exactly what it will look like, go inside and have a beer. Right in front of this. It's gorgeous. It's like okay. gorgeous. I'm going to call my wife and tell her I'm, I'm doing homework today. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. that'll work. I, I really like the metal work on that. 35 inches out. Okay. Is that, the, the, is that about what the other ones are? Is 35. Okay. The, the, the hanger will reach out to the end of the hanger will be 42 inches. Okay. Um, I see. And the circle itself is uh, a four inch diameter, which I think fits, fits well into the uh, ordinance. And you, I see you have dimensions on there, so I'm yep. positive that Susan Leahy knows that it's the correct square footage. It has been approved by her, right? I mean, I'm sure no, it approves by us first. I approve it till you guys do. Right. Yeah. But I always check with her and 
yeah. 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 I mean, there's no problem with it. So that eight foot nine off the sidewalk is what she recommended in? I think the ordinance is eight feet. Okay. Yeah. So, and, so eight foot and ball, right? Eight, mm -hmm. Yeah, eight foot. Okay. It has to be at least 8 feet. Got it. That sounds familiar, yes. And you can't project out more than 48 inches. Okay. Okay. I move to And you said that's 42? No, second. There's a motion by Mr. Polash, second by Ms. Hutton, to approve the sign at 221 Watson Street, the new brewing company. Yeah. Yeah. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. I've been here three years now, and this is the biggest pack we've ever had. Yeah, it was. And, and you guys are on the top spot. Uh, somebody wants to be council because they're next. <laughs> oh, that's me. <laughs> they're, sitting, they're both sitting on it. So. <laughs> Yeah, yeah we're, we're pushing it off on our efforts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How smart are we? I, I like the legal counsel, though. So. Yeah. You guys better go check out that sign. Yeah. <laughs> no, the thing you really do want to research is the difference between the artwork and yes, the sign. Yes, there is. Mm -hmm. You really do, and maybe, what is it, Phil, it was Phil the attorney? Yes, it yeah. Is. And you maybe give him a heads up that this is the question that's coming. Yeah. So does yes. he think it's is artwork because it's a somebody's going to have to make that statement? I whispered it to him a couple it was of six times. Words. I mean, I feel bad for him at the same because it is art. Yeah. So now, you know. What defines it then? Because we're sitting here discussing it, and we've stopped discussing the other two signs. <laughs> <laughs> and it was painted by the head of the department of Urban College. Yeah. You know, Raphael carries some some weight that way. I thought I heard mm -hmm. he made it. Yeah. It's this black thing. Weird to try to make it so other people don't do it. Put, put a sign up and say, hey, they did it. Why can't well, we do it? That's and that's overall. And yeah. that's one of the things we had talked about at one of the last meetings was starting to crack down on more and more yeah. things that are being yes. done. Yes. Because yes. otherwise you you end up going down that road of everybody asking for forgiveness instead of asking for permission. Right. Mm -hmm. What I wanted to say, not in front of this crowd, is across the street could be the opposite. Sure. Yes. In a heartbeat. Right. That, In a literal heartbeat. That's oh, right. what we're going to be discussing. Yeah. Yeah. Right. No, what do you mean? Yeah. It could be the opposite. It could be the opposite yeah. of somebody whatever could someone else is trying oh, to do. Yeah. Yeah. They, 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 if we say, yeah. okay. Somebody could somebody could put a, a swastika and, That's exactly what exactly. I'm saying. And, and say yeah. white, it's white, white matter or other. Yes. And what's the key from doing it? And if you don't stop it. Because it's art. So maybe what you really want to do is zero in on the word appropriate. Well, yeah, so that's going to be the hard part. Oh, yeah. Let's get up. Yeah. We're going to be doing that soon enough. You, you can think about it for a week. Does it conform or affect the district, and does it belong in the historic district? Yeah. That's wording in the ordinance, right. so that's yeah. up to us to determine. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And that's an obvious no. Correct. It wasn't appropriate. Right. So. Right. Okay. Yeah, won't be that easy the, in a couple of weeks. Number eight. Still have not gone to that house. Historic des designation for 16 Union Street. I think I'm going to take it off the agenda. I haven't heard back. Okay. So I didn't see any paperwork on here, so. No, there was none. All right, so. I just left it on there in case it would come in at the last hour. Table. All right. Hospital stable ideas for a Facebook page. An update on roof repairs. I think at, it was probably a month ago at council, I asked Mike Ehrenberg to, to do the roof repair, and he was going to do it within three weeks. Now, I don't know if it's done. I haven't been past it yet. Okay. And I missed last council meeting. Um, so I don't know if that roof repair is done or not, but it is in the works to get fixed. Okay. The city crew. Was I was just going to say it's a city owned building. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. And we talked about that before with the Facebook page. Do you, do you want me to just go? Can I just go ahead and take one for that? I just say, get that started. I say absolutely. Okay. Started. Yeah. Is that okay with everybody? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, because you can. You could do any. I mean, you can you can edit it. You can okay. add or delete as you yeah, want. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will. But but just getting it started would be fine. Start yeah. a GoFundMe yeah. in there. Absolutely. And then you'll find out what the interest is. Yeah. Okay, yes, great. that's what we need you to find out. Money there. talks. You know that it's been moved. It wasn't yes. really built on the creek. Yes. Yeah. 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 Probably should get taken off there. Although it kind of looks cool. <laughs> but it's only going to look cool until the water comes through there. The reason I came tonight one. was because of that. Yeah. And the thing is, is in your piece for your page that you're doing, why don't you ask for, for some volunteers so we can come over there and cut down the trees and stuff around there mm -hmm. and make it look halfway decent. Yeah, the yeah it really grew up. This really committee grew, used to do that. It really grew up this spring. I mean, yeah. there's a lot of yeah. tall brush around there now again. To, yeah. Yeah, we used to clean up around there. It only took a couple hours with a bunch of guys mm -hmm. and even women. <laughs> Should we spring cooling? Would that be a scenario where we just, if we clean it up or do whatever, and then the city comes and hauls the brush or we'll chip it? Exactly. Yeah, because yeah, right? yeah, we are in the old Smuckers building there in Heritage, and we cut down all the brush and everything last fall and just pile up, and they came and okay. did it all for yeah, us. Yeah, they've done that for years. Yeah. And you just got to let them know. This committee is the one that took care of that building. We had permission when Travis Drake was there to do whatever we wanted to do with that building, you know, because it was city property. And a uh, few people did look at it to convert it over to something else, but um, they had trouble with the DNR because mm -hmm. it's in a flood zone. Mm -hmm. And that's the problem. And I talked to somebody a long time ago about putting new footings underneath there, and they were going to raise that building up two feet higher. That's really yeah. what it needs. Huh? Mm -hmm. that's yeah, really that's what they were what trying to do. We were trying to get the footings raised two feet higher. They were going to use existing footings, and there's one that's tipped over down there. They were going to put a new one in, and they were going to be post ones. So, well, that would buy some time. Yeah, but like I said, you're not going to find another building in the state of Wisconsin that spans a creek mm -hmm. oh. or a river. This is something unique, and if you get rid of that, yeah. and like I said, maybe there's not a purpose for it now, but there could be a purpose for it. And the city did give us a right away from where the bridge is over on the side, down there, so that the, there is parking for that building. Mm -hmm. So there is a right away to that building that's oh. dedicated from the lot that's in front, mm -hmm. just so you know. So. Like I said, we did a lot of work on there, and, and that's the reason I came here, was because I'm not afraid to help you out cutting trees down and stuff like that. Okay. And the inside is really pretty good. Yeah. You know, I don't know if you've been in there. That was this spring. Yeah, the post, there's only one post in there that is questionable as far as being cracked. How's the floor? The floor is, yeah. It's, what happened is there's two inch boards on top of boards that run on an angle like two by, or they're one by eights. They're kind of a weird size. Yeah. You know, what they did was they threw a loose two inch floor on top of that mm -hmm. okay. for the horses so that they, you know, wouldn't tear that floor up. And then they have a, um... And they put metal down on top of there when smuckers used to drive forklifts in there. Oh, wow. So, yeah, we drive a fork truck in there now. Before mm -hmm. that, they had a, an escape hatch to put poop in the water. Well, that's the, that's the, that's the rumor. Urban but it actually, <laughs> I've never seen any evidence of, of something no. like that. No. And the only reason they put it there was because they didn't have enough pasture land for the horses. Wow. So, by utilizing that area. They kept it in an area that they still had pasture. And then you can ask John about you had some, or maybe it was Eric had rough numbers about, you know, it, this is what we think it would cost to have it re roofed and do the way you do. If you move it though, it takes away the cool factor. Yeah. yeah. Being over the river. And I talked to somebody about lifting it, which would be, you know, like moving it. And the guy was from Berlin. 
that was going to do it, and he knocked off ten thousand dollars to lift it up. Mm. You know, from our quote, and I think it was like twenty thousand to lift it and put footings underneath it. Okay, and that's one of the reasons that we kept rolling over that daily fund for a thousand dollars a month. You right. know, so that we had some extra money for spending too. Mm -hmm. But. Anyway, we'll, we'll find out. A little history on that anyway. Yeah. How, how hot is the city council yeah, on it right now? Yeah, jumping on this? I mean, it's no. just like an undertone now. Like, it was kind of for a little bit, and then just, so they're not worried about it right they're now. They're not worried okay. about it. It's yeah. pretty well mothballed right now. They don't want to spend oh. any money on it. Right. Um, but they're yeah. not hot at to just no. go after it. No. Okay. I mean, not that that slows us down at all, but. No. Okay. Need more outside support. Right. Mm -hmm. And you'll get a bunch of it too because we yeah. got it with the painting. With the yeah. people donated paint for that building. Okay. And like I said, there are people, the silent group, that don't want to see that gone. There's a lot of us. I know. <laughs> but anyway, just just so you know. Yeah, I think I think, I think, I think if you take it off the river, it's just another old barn land. Right. Yeah. 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 Then it's junk. It's got to right. stay. And that's the yeah. reason that it's right. not on a, a state historic. You can't designate it is because it's a secondary building. The building that they tore down was the main building, but the horse or the stable itself is a secondary building mm -hmm. because David Gray was looking into trying to get that designated okay. through the state, and they won't do it because it's a secondary building. Even though it's a unique building, yeah. it's not a primary building. And that was about 20 years ago? Yeah. If it was made into something and became a primary no. something or I another, would it be able to or no? They, this commission for a long, long time, yeah. you know? I just wonder if the state would see it differently. Yeah. At this point. They might. Like I said, they could reapply right. for that. Right. Like Eric said, what if somebody takes it over as a main building for their business? Would that change that? Well, it's possible, but the thing is, is it's... They, they consider it right now a secondary building. Okay. Because yeah. of its original use? Yes. Uh, okay. Yeah. And if they, like I said, if there were a beer thing that was there yet, the, right. the, the building, well, then it would have been included with that. Sure. So, okay. well, anyway. Thank you. Well, Haley, you're going to take yep. care of that. Thank you. Well. You can give me a call when you decide to, yeah. you know, clean it up. Mm -hmm. I'll okay. come on and help you for a while. Thank you. Unless I'm uncapacitated. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't leave. We're going to take a look at Take care. Thank Thanks, Steve. Um, next is 230 Watson Street, the American House property. I haven't heard a thing that gets dead in the water um, of anybody buying it and restoring it. And I haven't heard... There's been no talk of city council for, like, you know, raising it and make it into a parking lot. So I think that's just kind of been put to the side also. I, I don't see a reason why I can't do both of these at the same time. If we're going to do one, we might as well do both. Okay, sure. Do you, I mean, do you guys agree? Like, just start a fire? Yeah. And just sure. like, mm -hmm. get people interested in I, two is better than one anyway. I agree, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Because you guys had asked me to dig up I found some old postcards that I ne I've never seen. My dad has never seen, so I have some. Where'd you find them? I, I went on eBay. Do you know? Mm -hmm. Two that Do I've never seen. Do not tell my husband. <laughs> so yeah, we better <laughs> <take> so <laughs> much crap. <laughs> Everything that was ever printed about our house buys it. And I'm, I'm sure. like, okay, that is fine. <laughs> but I will throw those on there, and then there's a couple other things. So yeah, I will cool. do both of those. All right. Okay. Next meeting date would be. Um, let's August. see. August. Is this August fourth. It looks like. Yeah. Six o'clock again. Do we want six or six thirty? Seems like we're like confused on that. Yeah. I just didn't have my paperwork. Yeah. I don't know why they didn't <laughs> send it to you. Six is go. Six is fine. Okay. August fourth, six o'clock. Okay. If I only had this and not the planning commission too, which yeah. is a different time.
because I'm always thinking, well, which one's which? Yeah, what day, what time? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, they're not no. the same. Oh. <laughs> you know, I sat through the zoning commission meeting once yeah. by accident. I <laughs> 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 he looked at me and I was like, all right, I think it'll be. They called Hutton. It was supposed to be my dad. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anybody want to put anything on next month's agenda? Should we put on the, just an update on the two Facebook pages? Sure. I'll have that on. Yep. Then we can have discussion on that. Okay. Um, I will. I will be doing something with um, probably 308. I'll have to talk to Sue. <clears throat> Where's Sadie? Right next to Mapes. It's the building yeah, attached building. to Mapes. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want? I, I can put it on the agenda right away, and if it. Yep. Okay. That'd be good. And then if it doesn't come up, it doesn't come up. Well, I have to have it come up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that would be a certificate of appropriateness. Yep. Okay. The signage on the former Mapes. Stunning. I think oh, that yeah. whole thing is really great project for you. Yeah, that whole building is beautiful. The inside is just as beautiful. Is it? I haven't been. It's all amazing. <laughs> Didn't need to be torn down. <laughs> no, not at all. Do we have a motion to adjourn? I move to adjourn. Second. Oh, yeah. oh. Okay. Motion to adjourn, second by Dave. <laughs> yeah. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed?